Hello everybody, Phantom Claw here, and I'm here to do a, um, a reaction video to 13 videos you shouldn't watch on full screen. The videos by Chills, the link to the original videos in the description box down below. For those of you who want to go check out his original video, and uh, let's roll the tape. Watching these videos on full screen is a major test of courage. So if you want to hang out in the comment section instead, I really don't blame you. Number 13. Formerly known as the Biltmore Hotel, the Graduate Providence in Rhode Island is said to be one of the most haunted hotels on earth. It was financed by Lace Weisskopf, a man who openly practiced black magic and wanted to use the building as a way to spread occult knowledge to the public. Now a YouTuber named Jack Steffens is sure that there is someone in the room with him at 2am, so he records down the hall for a Not sign. Sponsor, by His way. suspicions are soon confirmed. Just one pause here just to mention, uh, this video is not sponsored by any company or, or anyone, uh, just so you like know. Did you see that? With absolutely no editing cuts at all, Jack opens the door and turns on the lights. It's an extremely small bathroom with practically nowhere to hide, and no time for someone to quickly leave without getting past him first. Considering there's hardly even enough room for someone to stand on the other side of the door to begin with, it was probably paranormal. Number 12. A logging worker cuts through this large tree when it splinters up the middle and divides into two falling halves. Oh, nothing. He first Ooh. tries to roll out of the way, and then sprints away as falling debris covers the ground. He stuck. He stuck. He made it out. He stuck. He managed to get away in time. And the only thing left running is his chainsaw, still stuck in the middle of the trunk. Number eleven. A school bus stops to pick up a student on a quiet morning in Bartow County, Georgia. The driver in front of them waits like they are supposed to, but that doesn't mean the student is necessarily safe. Oh, she's she very lucky. She steps into the street when a truck passes from behind at a moderate rate of speed without any regard for traffic laws. The student who is looking down at her feet probably would have gotten smashed if not for the quick horn, which makes her look up and take a few steps out of harm's way. The poor student looks absolutely terrified as she She's very, very lucky. gets onto the bus, and the blue truck drives off like nothing happened. The driver was later taken into custody and charged with a wide array of violations, which is reassuring, but more than anything, I'm just glad that everyone was alright. Number 10. When you live in the middle of nowhere, oh, no, anyone just... coming to your door Oh, hell no. A... Oh, hell no. No, if this person came up to me with the attempt to do harm, this person best hope I'm not hiding behind a door with a baseball bat. Because, uh... Uh, you could probably guess what I would do with the baseball bat. Uh, without going into too much detail, this person might be. Without going into too much detail, this person will wish they never messed with me. Let, let's just leave that out. Pause for alarm, but when they approach your house wearing this mask and with their hands tucked into their sleeves so as not to leave fingerprints, you know you're in extra deep trouble. A woman in Mason County, Washington watches this tall man stomp down her driveway towards her security camera moments before disconnecting the live feed. I have little doubt that this stranger was going to try and enter their home, and based on what he was wearing, this person obviously gets a thrill out of scaring others and wanted to strike as much terror into his targets as possible. Hopefully he was just going to take some items and leave them alone. But he very well may have had some sick plans for whoever was inside. Number 9. A camera pans across a white room filled with antique furniture and creepy collectibles, which is already bad enough, but when it stops at a tall old mirror, they seem surprised to find a childlike oh, silhouette uh, filling out the no. frame as they are studying the child in their shaky gaze. A pair of like Ghosts plus children is always always equals a way more scary experience than you normally get with paranormal TV. 
because I I don't know about you lot, but in every horror film that I've seen, where you have a where you have a child and a ghost, it's usually it doesn't end. It usually doesn't end well so much for most people, and um, especially if it's especially if it's like a ghost of a child, that kind of makes it more spooky. And I don't need to explain why it. There's a good way because I think uh, hopefully there's a lot of people out there who know what I mean by about that. Identical orbs float above her head as two pinpoints of light become barely visible, almost like she is turning her head slightly. I guess this shadow child could simply be a large doll. However, even if this was the case, as far as I'm aware, only the eyes of the living can reflect light like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a lifeless doll should never have glowing eyes. The person recording sees the eyes and tears up the steps in a hurry. They would later refer to the event only as the girl with sparkling eyes in the dark. Number 8. It's hard to say whether this video is an optical illusion or something oh. way worse. A White House official is walking next to former President Barack Obama when their reflection does not appear in the window next to him. Barack himself has a reflection, but this other person seems to lack one. This does look really weird at first, but it is could just be the camera angle causing their reflections to overlap. Kind of like when someone stands beside you and shares the same shadow. Or maybe his reflection was visible in another window off camera. Still, I can see why this video would raise some questions. Okay. Number 7. Of the yeah, I'm guessing it's probably an optical illusion. Uh, I'm guessing it's an optical illusion. But I can very well be mistaken. The village in Sri Lanka is surprised by these wispy white creatures that seem to have invaded local plant life. The takeover looks to be confined to vegetation for now, but no one is sure what this new species could mean for the ecosystem or the world at large. They just seem to have simply appeared one day, and they apparently aren't going away anytime soon. The creatures are closely clustered together and seem to try their best to avoid touch, as shown here. When you zoom in all the way, you can see they have a head and bug-like legs at the top, but the bottom looks like no insect I have ever seen. Number 6. This rare rushing creature is being called everything from a mole to a troll. The phone quality is too poor to make out much more than a tiny humanoid hand and a small face. Whatever this is, it doesn't behave much like a mole, which I doubt would stay above ground with two humans so close. Anyway, try to translate this conversation if you can, and let me know if they ever say what kind of creature this is. What's that? So, one? Aí pra trás tem mais quantos? Sela quatro e a ala. Bora, bora agora pra cima aí. At the 15 second mark, you can see its hand more clearly, and it does look like it could have a well-developed thumb, which would exclude it from belonging to most species. With that said, I think it could perhaps be a baby possum, which do have opposable thumbs, and sometimes like to burrow underground. I could be wrong though, and even after almost 100,000 views, nobody seems to have come up with a concrete answer. Number 5. The Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado is oh, the Stanley Hotel. Haunted, and was the inspiration for Stephen King's The Shining. A YouTuber named Ricky Rock requests the most haunted room. Oh, this guy's at this person. I'll admit, the Stanley Hotel is probably like the one haunted building I wouldn't mind going to, possibly, because it does look rather. Because it does look. It does look. Like, because I have heard of it, how like it was the inspiration for Stephen King's The Shining novel, which there's a, as I recall, I think there was a film adaptation of The Shining, if I remember correctly, and there's a, part of me doesn't want to, but at the same time there's part of me that does want to go to to the Stanley Hotel because it does look because uh, from like from like what I've heard about the place 418 and records himself sleeping sounds of movement originate from within the room 
Then at around 3 a.m., he claims the spirit entered his body. This is the exact moment it happened. <laughs> He sits up and stares directly at the camera with a blank expression. Uh, be right back. Uh, sorry about that. I had to go and, uh, uh, some, somebody was calling me and I had to go find out what they wanted. I guess he could still be half asleep, but many believe that he is under the control of a spirit. And that's when some presence apparently made him speak in tongues. Watch this part and tell me if it sounds like something paranormal or someone having a bad dream. The comment section of this video seems to be evenly split between fake and real. So let me know what you think based on what I was able to show. Number 4. A man is filming this old medieval building on the Mediterranean island of Sardinia when he notices the curtains of a balcony window are peeled back slightly to reveal a small grayish object peeking out from the bottom. Zoom in, and it almost looks like a tiny face, or else the top of someone's head who is very short, perhaps a small child. It could be a reflection of the palm tree swaying in the wind, or it could be a trapped spirit staring haplessly at the world, to which it no longer belongs. Number three. Okay, I think I'm going to end the reaction video here. Um, and I'm going to chop out the last three. If you want to find out what the last few are, I suggest you. Um, I suggest that you click on the link down below. It will take you to this original video on Josie's YouTube channel. And uh, if you if you enjoy if you're enjoying some of the reaction videos I'm uploading, please give me a like, subscribe, comment, share, whatnot, and until next time, goodbye for now.